welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swish Reviewing Twitter. Twitter was one of the Stock Swish show plays of the day. Very active day here. I also called the 29 puts in this. Um, so first trade in this, though, stopped in the room this morning, and then it set up, and then it set up with several nice ads. So this is past the first target, which was around 28.50, 28.60, and it's trying to sell off here into the close. So we'll, we'll be watching it here. If you're out of this, fine. If you... Um, Stayed with this. I hope everyone stayed with this. I mean, this really had the move. If you're still in this, I mean, this looks like it's going to try to get down to 28 and possibly break it. So this is a nice move today. It's kind of running out of time, but we do have 45 minutes left to go. Um, and again, just quickly taking a look here at the market. Uh, the market is really not against Twitter here today. So I would say that it's interesting because the market's really waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting for tonight. Market's waiting for Amazon and Apple to report tonight. Isn't that isn't that crazy? But that is what is going on here in this market. Wow, is that obvious to me? Okay, going back to Twitter. So let's just go back to the morning. Um, we did this in here, got stopped. It's a bummer. Anyways, waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. Eventually, then it did set up in here. Just show you over in here. It did set up in here then on the 15 minute. Dropped, dropped, dropped. And again, you could have done two ads in this, one ad in it, or just done the initial second train, but it did move. It went more than a dollar. Very, very happy that this sold off today. I did like it this morning. I have no idea why. It pushed back like it did, except for the fact that it just was a slippery bugger. Um, but sometimes that happens. So glad that this went. It was a really good entry. Initially in here, we had it with the stop over 30.10. And I said 50 by 30.10. So really, it was initially 60 cents, which was a good um, stop for this. And then if you did the ads, you just continued to get the drip on down. And I thought that this would not back up at all today once it started to break. And I was right. But it's a bummer it stopped initially. This was one that we retook. I do discuss retakes in the Golden Gap class. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class and learning my method and system is how I rate gaps, email me at Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The class for May is this weekend, May 2nd and 3rd. And I, I think this is going to just continue to sell off here, quite frankly, into the close. So... Uh, dream targets on this is really going to depend because this is in the same sector for the put as the Amazon and Apple to see what happens with this because if if one or both of those tank this is going to continue lower for the put and if they don't um, then this may reverse tomorrow because I would like to see more of a sell-off in this than we've seen here so far again this this has a lot of room to go lower but it's really going to depend on the earnings tonight in the sector and how it's affected with the market it's really really interesting though this market is waiting to see what the ones that are the biggies are going to do tomorrow. So good luck, everyone. We'll be watching. And great job, everybody. Did the Twitter stay and stuck with it. And again, if we're still in it, squeeze every penny that you can out of this today. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you're interested in signing up for the Gap Class.